Hey everybody, Jay at Lock and Lube. Today we are going to dig in to two of our most popular pistol grip grease guns. These are our professional series pistol grip guns. We have our L&L 252 over here, which has been a flagship model for us for years. And we just introduced the L&L 353. This is a brand new model with some brand new features on it that we're really excited about. And we're here to answer the question, why in the world would we have two different pistol grip guns that serve on the surface very similar purposes? So let's get into it. We're gonna start with the 252. Part of the reason that this gun has been so popular and is a favorite for the folks here as well is that it really does a good job of hitting all the things that most folks are looking for. It balances real lightweight construction with a high quality head that is built to last, isn't gonna lose its prime, is gonna deliver consistently. We have this clip for the handle that makes for clean and easy storage. This is so that when you bump the handle, it's not gonna pump grease everywhere when you're not using it. As with all our grease guns, we've got our loop and lock storage zerk. I've made a bit of a mess here, but you can see that it does keep it contained. This grease coupler, this grease hose is not flopping around, picking up dirt and grime. Uh, it's stored securely and it's gonna stay in place. This grease gun is gonna put out an ounce of grease in 37 strokes. On par with a lot of uh, pistol grip grease guns on the market, our, uh, our 353 here is also gonna do an ounce in 37 strokes when you are in high volume mode. So a bit of a spoiler alert here on our dual mode gun. We've got a high volume mode as well as a high pressure mode that can be switched just like that on the fly. High volume mode, 37 strokes per ounce. Pistol grip guns in general are gonna deliver a little bit less grease per stroke than you're gonna find on a lever gun because with that increased leverage and the longer stroke, you can get more grease out. So both of these do 30, an ounce of grease in 37 strokes. Both of them are rated to a max of 8,000 PSI. So knowing those similarities, we're gonna actually put these to the test, hook them up to our pressure gauge, and show you how these grease guns perform in use so that you can understand the differences between them, even though the specs might look pretty similar. So let's get back to our 252. We have a combo air bleeder port and a bulk fill port here. And over here, our loop and lock storage system. As I mentioned, the handle is gonna clip on for storage and easily releases for use. As with all our grease guns, our lock and loop hose assembly. That's our inline hose swivel, our 20 inch whip hose, and our lock and loop grease coupler. So let's hook this up to the gauge and see. When a grease gun is rated to a certain pressure, that means that it can handle that pressure. That doesn't mean that the user or the operator can easily build that pressure. Now, I'm a scrawny guy, I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna use my dominant hand and I'm gonna to try to build as much pressure as I can with this gun to show you that while it is rated 8,000 PSI, it all depends on the grip strength that you have in terms of what you're able to do. So now, where are we at? We're at, the red numbers here are gonna be at a, just under 3,000 PSI. So let me try to do as much as I can here. That, I'm, I'm hammering on this thing, so I'm, I'm barely getting it up to 4,000 PSI. Now, the gun can handle eight, the hose assembly can handle 10. That doesn't mean that I personally can get it to deliver 8,000 PSI. So uh, let me disconnect the coupler here. Because this is a dead end system, the back pressure of grease that's in this block right now is gonna come out when we disconnect the coupler. That is not the grease coupler leaking, anticipating some comments there that we always get. Um, so push the thumb lever down, but you can see at whatever we were, three or 4,000 PSI, it still does easily disconnect with the thumb lever. So we'll take the grease out of our pressure gauge here, clean that up. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the L&L 353. So to start, We've already seen this toggle, right? This is the main invention, the main innovation that's gonna distinguish this gun from other dual mode pistol grip guns. A lot of the grease guns, including our own Easy Prime grease gun, have a toggle up here um, where, the, uh, where the handle connects. And they can be a little tricky. 
We've had customers that have had issues with them. Uh, we've tried it on the uh, Alamite 500 series, has a similar system there. They work fine, there's just a little bit of a learning curve. What I love about this is how easy it is to flip on the fly. I would always say run it in volume mode, that should be the default. Uh, you wanna prime it in volume mode. And the other feature here that you'll notice is this gun has two pistons. So for volume mode, it's taking advantage of both pistons to deliver as much volume as possible. When you switch into the high pressure mode, it's only engaging this smaller diameter piston on the bottom. And what that does is it delivers more pressure, but it also does it in a way that's much easier for the operator. So we'll connect it to the pressure gauge here and show you what that looks like. So again, both guns rated to 8,000 PSI, same scrawny left-handed me going after the pressure gauge. Now I'm in pressure mode and you can see the ease that I'm doing this, right? Like I'm not struggling to squeeze this gun. I'm putting some force into it and just now it's sort of getting challenging. So where are we at? We're over 4,000 and I'm just feeling some pressure. And now still I'm able to build more pressure. I'm able to talk, right? We're at 6,000. And if I really give it all, all I can here, I'm trying to push through a clogged fitting or get something up to pressure that may be pressurized with grease. Um, where are we? We're at 7,000 PSI. So that's the difference, right? Both guns rated 8,000 PSI. The high pressure mode on this gun enables the operator to actually get the gun to deliver much higher pressures with much less effort. So you run it in high volume mode and you've got the same performance you have on any other pistol grip gun, but you hit one of those fittings that's not taking grease and all you have to do is flip the toggle, put it in high pressure mode, and you can actually build an additional three or 4,000 PSI beyond what you can do with your traditional pistol grip gun. While we're here, let me talk a little bit about these features. You'll notice a dead end port here. The outlet port can be either the default, which is coming out here, or you can have it come out vertically. That's your choice. You may find that for the machines you're operating, for the way that you like to grease, that this is easier, more convenient. It's a choice option you have. For the pressure relief valve, we actually have a screw type air bleeder valve here on the top. Um, so this is nice and clean, um, high quality machining. It's just a nice little feature that we've thrown on there. And then obviously our loop and lock storage design here. We've also got a bulk load port hiding on the back end of this for those people who are uh, bulk loading their grease guns, that is still an option with this model as well. And so uh, we mentioned that it was easy to disconnect the other one at 4,000. We're still over 6,000 here. Um, let me pop off the coupler. And as I mentioned, big wad of grease comes out of both the hose assembly and the pressure gauge when we disconnect. That is not the grease coupler leaking. All you people lurking in the comments out there, I see you. We'll get this cleaned up. We'll get our coupler stored there. And so there you have it. Both of our professional series pistol grip grease guns, both excellent high quality models that carry our lock and loop guarantee that these are built better and made to last longer than any other product out there. And up to you, which one suits your need. If you find that you are often trying to blow through clogged zerks or you're in situations where you're using your grease gun to build pressure, you should consider the 353. If you're looking for an everyday workhorse that's gonna be a little bit lighter in weight, but still delivers the same quality uh, performance, uh, you might wanna take a look at the 252. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can check out lockandlube.com or search for us on YouTube.